What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In the last video, I showed you the layout of Click Team Fusion. In this one, I'm going to be talking all about objects. All I showed off in the last video was the active object, which is the most important object, but I'd like to show off some others. So to start, you, you have the screen. I'm gonna talk about the screen a bit. Um, you have quite a few options here. Uh, since I have a bunch of extra um, things like Firefly and Android, I have those too. But if you're on normal click team or free click team, you won't have those. Um, but what you will have is the manager. The extension ant manager which is basically a bunch of extra objects so there's like a bunch of extra objects that are very useful in certain cases and you can just press install on let's start with something simple like a counter which just stores a value uh so this is it might seem very important. It might be very important to some games, but it's really not that important. It's basically just an alterable value, which also stores numbers, but visual. So for something like health, um, but yeah, you wouldn't use it for much. Like, if say you wanna you wanna add a double jump to your player, uh, obviously we're not gonna be doing that in this video, but you'd make that an alterable value to see how many jumps you have left. You wouldn't make that a counter. You wouldn't make that an officer counter. Counters are very nice to some extent, I feel. But let's go ahead and show how you can use a counter. Let's say every second, the track from the counter, five. Then let's say the counter is equal to 80. It will create a new object, the player, right here. So this is just going to create a duplicate of the player if the counter is at a certain value. And if we move the debugger out of the way, there's another player now. Because the counter hit 80. You can see the use of this. Um, another useful one would be backdrop. Uh, backdrop is just something that will appear behind actives and other objects and stuff and don't really have their own properties. Also very useful for platformers. Um, I'll show you why in the platformer series, but that's quite a ways away. Quite a ways away. But you know, if you want, you can do this and it'll appear behind everything else. You know, you can use the paint tool to just paint a nice wall. Except the fact that that is a terrible use of um, storage space. Because you could do that, or even better, oh, you could just change the background color of the frame. But yeah, backdrops can be pretty nice. So we'll just put that there. Let's see, what other objects are there? There's the button, which you don't have to use. A lot of people don't use this, and they like to just make their own active buttons. You know, actives that just have text on them, and you can press them. But if you really do want, which I'm one of those people, I would not recommend it. You can make a button and you can press it. 
let's say every time if the button is clicked so every time we're gonna create another one Okay, uh, let's, um, there's a demonstration of something you can do. Limit conditions, only one action, one event loops. Super useful. As you can see here. Okay, I think that's actually the whole thing we, just, we did with the counter. Let's just, let's just create the object at the object. So create relative to the object. But also offset it by a bit because then you wouldn't be able to see it. Oh no, mind you would because it doesn't. Oh, so here we go. Now we have a bit of a duplicating effect. So now when we press the button, it uh, spawns that that. I can't even remember who's the OG now. I feel, believe it was this. Yeah, you could create as many as you want here. Except you couldn't, actually. One thing I'd recommend you do is... Go to your frame's properties and change the number of objects to 20,000, I do believe. It's the max amount of objects you can have. But uh, what else we can, can we do? An edit box. An edit box is another pretty important object. In some cases. I personally don't use it a lot. But basically. The user. Can type things into it. Things. And then. Let's see. Let's say, all right, let's say if the user has pressed enter and no, let's say if, it, if the user presses enter, then we can disable the box and let's just see what happens there. Oh, disables the button. Huh. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Now it's locked in. Uh, you could probably like, let's say. Do an multiple string called player name and then multiple strings set player name to get text now this wouldn't matter unless you're using it for like dialogue or something but you know it's something nice you can do with objects but that's all for this tutorial. I've shown you some of the important click team objects. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned for next time. We're going to do, uh, we're going to do what the text on screen says. Because I haven't decided yet. I'll put it in editing. Boom. All right. That's all for today. Bye, guys.